first guest tonight is here for a very specific reason, something that's very exciting to us. Uh, tomorrow is September 18th, which happens to be the Jewish New Year, also called Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah, right. Uh, so Paul and I... <laughs> I'm very proud that I knew that. <laughs> Paul and I are but mere Gentiles. So we thought that it would be nice to invite someone who knows what he is talking about, someone who can instruct us not only in the ways of Rosh Hashanah, not only in the ways of Judaism, but more importantly, how we can land rich Jewish husbands. Because... Literally our goal in life. That is really... <laughs> Literally. Doctors are preferable. I take a lawyer. I... Jewish rich, you said it all. I said it all. <laughs> no need Don't get specific, Chris. No. <laughs> So as, as a result, we, we are very fortunate to have in our midst today, not just any old regular rabbi, but a very special rabbi, who is the executive rabbi of JConnects LA. He's also the director of Jewelicious Festivals. He is a former Fulbright fellow, a teacher, and a community activist. Does it all. Everything. I mean, not as much as Liana, but plenty of things. Uh -oh. Just kidding. We are so lucky to have him in our midst today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, to the stage, Rabbi Yona Bookstein. song already. No worries. No, no worries, worries. No worries. So, tomorrow night is it's tepid water, literally. So tomorrow night is Rosh Hashanah. Yes. Okay, am I saying it right? Is it Rosh Hashanah or Rosh Hashanah? Well, you'd say like uh, Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah? Or Rosh Hashanah. What's the difference? Well, one would be like One is for boys and one is for girls. Uh, <laughs> one would be like uh, more of a Eastern European pronunciation, one would be more modern Israeli pronunciation. Oh, I'm learning already. Yeah. And you mean the head of the year. The head of the year. Yes. The head of the calendar year. Right? That's right. Oh, actually, see. the calendar starts, and this is so Jewish, the calendar actually starts. <laughs> Get ready, people. This is so Jewish. So now, the new year is not the first month of the year. I know, I know. But we're not, it, it's com complicated. Actually, the month that Passover falls in uh -huh. is the, that's the first month of the Jewish calendar year. Which is February. Close. It, it's like around springtime. Uh, April. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and uh, but then it goes on from there. Actually, uh, we're well into the Jewish calendar year, but this is the new year, and we would have to be here all night for me to try to. Oh. Well, here, here's. We would love to hear more. Here's a question, though, specifically about the new year. Okay. Uh, in the American culture, we have Dick Clark, who counts us off to the new year. Or, to be a little more modern, we have Ryan Seacrest. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Catch up, Chris. I'm 47. Who is the Jewish equivalent of Ryan Seacrest? Who counts down off? Who counts off your new year? Is there one? Um, <laughs> we don't have one. Rabbi. I know. I know. It's a. Uh, it, it, it is a uh, major cultural failing. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I didn't want to have to say it out loud. <laughs> I, I can, I can, can, I can pronounce you? that. Can yes. we nominate you to be? Uh, I you? would love to pull the uh, whatever, the bell. Or I'm going to call KSFM right now. Yeah, we <laughs> have no, there's no, um, you know, there's no countdown. There's no big clock. Um, what is that? There's no, you know, uh, a big, uh, like, uh, I mean, Apple. Right, Apple actually is one of the symbols of the new year. When it's an apple. Mac has Mac has branded your yeah. holiday. <laughs> no, That's smart advertising. Uh, um, the apple and the honey is a popular uh, thing to have a sweet new year. So I suppose if one was to drop the ball, they would drop an apple into honey. So if you're dropping a ball in the big apple, which we do during New Year's, the opposite would be dropping an apple in a big ball. Oh, guys, I gotta drink some. <laughs> Hers is not tepid water. <laughs> we we um, uh, have so many questions. Actually, one, one question in terms of, of uh, the celebration aspect is the anti-celebration happens at sundown, right? Like that, what happens at sundown? Right, Jewish festivals begin in the evening. Okay. Right, they begin, so at sundown is when the, the new year will start on Friday night. Okay. And instead of like, you know, a, a, a big party or I don't know, um, confetti and kazoos and, and champagne corks. Uh -huh. uh, people will probably be in synagogue uh, or maybe at the, at the table, dining room table, have a big lavish uh, feast in honor of the holiday. Uh, people dress up in nice clothing. They usually spend it with their family. Here's my question. This it's a family time. 
I get that this would conflict with my ability to drink a lot of gin and tonics. Um, you could, you could drink Which is what I do after Sunday. Well, I was going to say, that's what I do with my family. So, that's okay. That's kosher, sure, right? I mean, oh. oh. We should. Oh. Like, uh, like a sweetened version, you know, for the New Year. Everything in the New Year is symbolic. So you want to have something sweet. Okay. So oh. gin and tonic, a little bit on the, you know, you maybe, you spruce You want like a, a fruity drink. Like a majority yeah. sour. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Something. Sex on the yeah. beach. That's right. I'm yeah. so yeah. good at being Jewish. Thus far, I'm totally yeah. <laughs> that would be a, that'd be great. Uh, you can do it apple martinis, maybe. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everyone here is converting. <laughs> <laughs> or at least just going to drink a lot tomorrow night. They're like, whatever, it's Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> well, we wouldn't want to get too drunk because the new year is the time of introspection okay. and of uh, trying to uh, really do a personal accounting. What did I do wrong in the last year? Who do I need to make up with? And how can I live a better life? So I wouldn't want to start the New Year drunk because, you know, it might be the wrong signal. I think that's the only way I can start the New Year with thoughts like that. I would have to drink. Is there, do, do, you, do you have a New Year's kiss, though, let's say? Like, that's a big thing. No, no. No? No. no. Ow. Is there like a good solid handshake? Uh, we blow the show fuck the, the ramp. Wait, off. wait, what? <laughs> I love <left> you. <laughs> so, and then for porn, he keeps drinking. <laughs> <laughs>